Bring the patient. Here we have a silver tone. Silver tone. Clock radio. I already did a video of this one years ago. Look at how crusty that is. Oh yeah, now I can see it. That's crusty. Mmm. Probably moldy. Oh, my dial string job worked. Well, I'm bored and I want to... I was thinking of maybe giving this thing to uh, do something again, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to get this to do any. Mmm, crusty. Mm -mm -mm. Let's uh, get a close look at this specimen of sitting in my shed. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. That's some crusty stuff. Believe it or not, this is the original rust that it had when I first got it. Does the clock still work? Mmm. Cobweb infused. Let's see here. Figured I give you some new today. Oh yeah. And it still works. Okay. That volume control that I was complaining about was a. Uh, very stiff, it's no longer stiff. My professionally replaced cord. Did a good job that day. Oh. Here is your Sears and Roebuck USA. I paid 15 bucks for this joker. This freaking joker, so. Uh, oh, huh. <laughs> Only the knobs are holding it. Okay. Guess we don't need them. What I want to do is just paint it red so it looks nice. Because this white is just ugly. That was easy. That was easy also. I don't think that mattered. Oh, Look at that. Oops. Do it like they do. Them weird people do enjoy the wilderness adventure. Let's take this chassis out. There go. <laughs> oh, look at that! There's an actual speaker in there that I left. This thing was supposed to be for scrap. How did I leave the speaker, you wonder? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Let's move this aside. Mmm, crusty. Just sitting two years and look at how dirty it is. This thing used to be very clean, but, uh... Yeah. My fix for crap. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. Cobweb infused. Oh my, I left a freaking good bulb in it. I left me a good bulb in there. Can't believe I did that. Don't know why I would leave a good bulb in there, but I did. This thing is supposed to be scrap, and that's it. Oh my god. Oh, huh! I left those electrolytics in here. Oh, my recap job. Mmm, smells vintage still. Even though it's got nothing but fresh air. Because that shit is not unclosed um, like a house is. Look at that. <laughs> Look at my repair. My old recap. I this is the last two piece of equipment I've worked on, as far as recapping goes, and it kind of working. But I think these IF transformers are shot. Probably got silver mica disease now. 
Look at this. My old fucking awful. Oh, and that's why I, I gave up on it. A piece of the the tube socket broke off. That might be fixable, though. I might try and fix this. I don't know. I may. I don't know. We don't need this right now. We'll put that to the side. We just want to get the case out because the case is going to be spectacular. Look at that. We have some life. <laughs> There's some life in here. Let's uh, poke it with a screwdriver and see if it's alive. No. What is that? I think it's a stink bug. This radio was really never worth fixing because basically it's just a piece of junk. I wonder what we're gonna see through here. Mmm, 1950s wiring. Cloth covered edition. Oh, that's not safe. Clock may not even run anymore. I should salvage it. Let's take it out. There we go. Well, that's surprisingly clean still. Okay. Judgy, give it a nice look. That clock is... I might actually use that for something else, like a timer unit. Okay. This should, there we are, come out. I'm gonna get that painted. Put a copper brass fused. Mm. And, uh, now I just got a plastic crap chassis left. I may not paint the inside of this, but these aren't doing anything anymore. Let's face it. Actually, let's put that back. That we know is Mmm, wildlife. Let's uh, poke it. Are you metal? Are you magnetic? Come on, get out. Whatever it is, it's stuck. Look at that. Must be dead. Go there. Let's uh, put her. Oh. Let's clean this up.
clean. Time for spray paint. I don't know, that looks good. bit much there but I don't know. <laughs> that don't look bad at all. That'll definitely look much better in here. All I'm looking is for looks, not a, the original. The original looks like shit. A white radio, yuck. Oh, a white radio back in the day. But yeah, look at that. Not bad for the first time. Also, I declare this the painting table. So, yeah. Kind of looks shitty to be fair, but not gonna lie. Like that. didn't use primer either. You don't really need primer for plastics. This is actually pretty good. So let's uh, put this inside. Oh my, that is gonna look beautiful when it's done. Let's put that right, let's put that right here. Hey, spray painting a radio don't look that bad. <laughs> I don't like, I've seen worse but this. Looks pretty. To be fair, I think this is the original spray paint that sprayed this 
garage up. Out of this. I don't see any more errors. Oh, I see a few. Anybody could uh, spot errors in the movie. So. I want them to make. I want them to think that this. Good. All right, let's uh, let's leave it. And uh, I do have some metallic paint. I might. I don't know. Do I really want to try and fix this thing? You know what? I might. I might try and fix it. I don't know. I might just take the radio out and wire the clock only. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, let's close the door and let that uh dry. Alright, uh, see you tomorrow. I guess that cat's blind now, only got one eye. Well, here is the finished result. Uh, a little bit of a late spot there. Can't really see it though. Not gonna lie. This thing turned out fabulous. This part at least. This looks pretty professional. A little bit of... That's okay. Inside, you see the original color, why I wanted it red, so it pops and fits nicely. Alright, let's put it back together. It looks, uh, looks pretty good. This part I'm proud of. I might try and fix this up, actually. This looks a lot nicer. Quite happy with that. Now the, uh, the emblem would go right here. I'm gonna have to super glue that. But this might be re worth restoring now that I've painted it. I don't know, I mean, this whole thing is Surprisingly, gonna have to, gonna have to uh, make an antenna though. That's for sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six tube radio. It's got a two day. This might not even be. Oh, it's probably the original. It has some pitting, but that's dust particles. But you know, you ain't gonna see it. If anything, you're just gonna see the damn radio itself. But this is the radio. That's how you can make an uh, ugly white looking plain ass radio into a beautiful color. Now, I wish this was a uh, teal, but. Hey, I'm not going to be 
fuse and it's just nothing but a prop. So this can go back where, uh, where it belongs. Up on here. Where it can sit forever. I was gonna, well I am gonna put it there, but uh, I want to uh, wait on that. Put our lovely teal, not teal, our lovely red radio with a duck on top and a bottle. Now that, that's popping much better. Tempted to, nah, nah, I'm not gonna paint this. Yep, still running. Ain't that just amazing? It's still freaking running. I'm gonna put this in the back of it. There you go. Good. Maybe, maybe someday I'll get a working radio. Well, I have my eyes on a vintage intercom. I'm gonna put it right on this wall, right to here. It'll be right to here. So my vintage intercom. Well, maybe I'll put it in, maybe I'll put the intercom here, closer to the electrical, or I'll put the intercom in here. Nah, 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 I don't know, I'll put it somewhere. I have to clean this up. I have to clean that up, I don't know if I can do that. Um, gotta move this table starting to chip away. So, uh, thank you for watching of the painting of this gorgeous 1956